The AC-72 is an incredible piece of engineering. I mean, absolutely incredible. The AC-72 is a beast. The boats that I might get to sail in the next 15, 20 years will probably never come close to these. You put the boat in the water, and you just kind of look at it and go, that shouldn't be flying through the air at 50 knots, and it does. It's, uh, it's a bit mind-blowing. I take my hat off to the designers, that's for sure. The designers are hugely important because they are the smart guys that can actually calculate uh, how fast the boat can go, how it should look like, and they have to combine everything into a boat, which is the final package. There is a huge amount of design hours that goes into these boats, so you know the, the, the price is probably more expensive, but you know that's just the level that we're competing at. A new boat it really is on the cutting edge of technology. I mean, really are breaking new ground in the construction, the engineering. For the first time, we're seeing a boat that really pushes the athletes on board the boat. The boats are, are quite big. They are 72 feet. The, the wing is nearly 40 meters. They're not that heavy, but they're very powerful. They're all carbon fiber, all titanium exotic components. Uh, they're built to be basically as light yet as strong as they possibly can be. The AC-72 was designed and built for speed. Metres and metres of carbon fibre, layer on top of layers and vacuum bagged and we cook it in an oven. Well, the 72 is obviously a very complicated boat. We're sailing with really modern technology and going into areas where people probably haven't been before. You know, we're using a wing sail, which is you know, just like an aeroplane wing. It's got a hard wing on it which is an incredible piece of engineering and technology behind it, how, to, how it operates and how it works, and the efficiency of it. And it, it allows the boat to go exceptionally fast. Without any wind at all, you could uh, go up against a strong current in one of these boats. When there's a tide flow of 10 miles an hour, there's 10 miles an hour of wind. In 10 miles an hour of the wind, this boat's going to be going 30 miles an hour. So we can go up against it three times the speed of the wind that's generated from the tide. Communications is a big thing. You're literally 14 metres apart in very high wind speeds. So even if you're next to someone, it's hard to talk to him. Imagine if he's 14 metres away. There's no way you can hear him. All the teams use uh, some you know, microphones, some internal communication system. Even with those, it's very, very hard to communicate uh, be between uh, the crew. Describe the power of an AC-72 thing, driving a rally car with your head out of the window <laughs> in the rain. <laughs> I mean, the accelerations, the G-forces are huge. For all of us as sailors, whatever happens in this America's Cup, we will remember sailing the AC-72 forever.